This is 2,167 US dollars or 15,000 Danish kroner. And this is my friend Istvan, a homeless man who I met over a game of chess on the street some years ago. Istvan doesn't know it yet, but I am going to pay him all this money for playing a single game of chess with me. Now, let's go and meet my friend Istvan. It's going to be a big fight. I've prepared a special trap against Istvan's opening here. I'm sitting there with the money strapped to my stomach in a sealant, being quite nervous about the whole thing, hoping to be able to spring my trap and score a rare win against my friend. Will I be able to pull it off? Here we go. Eastwind castles and I capture the pawn, seemingly plundering my knight. But here is the trick. I play the pawn forward forking these two pieces. To my surprise, Istvan does not seem faced at all, but just retreats his bishop, protecting the knight. Shoot, he knows the theory of this opening. So, it's going to be an epic battle, and you can see the whole thing, but I want to put the original audio on for a bit here, so you can get a picture of what it's like to be Istvan. So I uh, just want to get to know you a bit, because... You like stories. Yes. Where, where do you go to retreat? Uh, unfortunately, libraries. Do, now, you, go, do um, you read at the library, or do you use computer, or what do you do? Um, I can't read, I need glasses. Now I use computer. Okay. And you need glasses, you can't afford to buy some glasses, or...? No. I start to learn to live without glasses. Okay. And, um, okay. And, and how about at night? Do you have a good uh, warm place? Or? At night it's, uh, it's different places and uh, you must be smart enough to get a place in different places because you don't have a stable place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go to one place to another place, it's a kind of lot track lottery. Okay. You don't have a, a place you go around and and the end when you give up, you go to some McDonald's are opened all the night. It's just it. When you're homeless or go to any kind of city and don't have find a place, it's uh, most better to take a night, night train. Mm. <laughs> take the night train. A, a, a long distance night train. Mm. <laughs> if it's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, check, uh, check if the night train is warm enough. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me what's the worst night you had? I didn't consider the worst night because I survived. Yeah. And, uh, if you are tre trembling, it's uh, you know it's coming in the morning, a warm place somewhere, uh, <laughs> and I... you survive it and you forget it. Yes. So don't say worse. It's like one of one of them. Oh. It, it's it's not necessary to say. That was the worst. Even if you are outside in the forest, you you just learn to make a fire, <laughs> and you, you are forced to make a fire, and to, to have some matches or a light to be prepared to make a fire. Mm. So the worst uh, night is when you are very wet and you couldn't dry your clothes. Mm. That's the worst. That is the worst. It was very cute the other day when we were speaking. I saw you were talking to this little girl. And you asked, do you want some candy or do you want an orange? And you gave her an orange and she was very heavy. Can you tell me why you did that? Oh, why? <laughs> why? Because a child's life can be 
<laughs> a child likes a child yeah, a likes candies. <laughs> it's just you know, I have never seen anybody selling the homeless papers, who's for beat papers. I have seen them ask for something. I have never seen them give something. And I just thought it was amazing. Yes. He was so happy. No, if if you somebody gives you, you learn to give also. Or it's nice to learn that. It is nice to learn that. So I'm sitting there, losing the game, because we started on equal terms. There may not be much equality in life, but at least we have chess, right? And Eastman has this outside past pawn. And if it goes forward all the way to the back rank, it will become a queen, which would certainly win him the game. But maybe I have a trick. Bishop in front of Rook. It cannot be captured because I could deliver checkmate on the exposed back rank. Will it work? So, no. Eastman very calmly actually just protects his pawn. I had blocked the rook's defense, so I was hoping to snag on this pawn if I didn't get to deliver checkmate. And you can see him <laughs> laughing at the camera, man. <laughs> and he's not being mean about it. He is, he is just a good sport and we just have fun. And I still have some tricks up my sleeve here. So now my plan is to try and control this pawn. And Eastman saying, joking with the cameraman that I can't do it, but but I will try my best. And I wasn't born yesterday. And you can see now my bishop is in front of the pawn. And if it were not for this pawn, Eastman would not have any advantage in this game. So look at this move he's playing. He's pushing the pawn, allowing his king to enter the game. So now there are no more checkmate threats like the one I utilized earlier. I activate my king because in the end game, the king is considered a fighting piece. Here, Istvan is really playing with fire. He gives this check, but notice that his bishop is exposed to an attack from my rook. And now I have a little nice move called a fork. So the bishop is attacked and the pawn is attacked. And Istvan defends neither but goes on a counter-attack that looks like it should not work. And maybe there is a flaw with it. I'm not going to capture his bishop. He will capture my bishop and protect his pawn. But what if I capture his pawn instead? Is there a flaw? The bishop now is pinned. I have to exchange and we end in this situation where I have lost what we in chess call the exchange, that is, I have lost the rook for a bishop or a knight. In this case, I have the bishop. And why am I so dissatisfied with that result? If you look at this bishop, you'll notice that it can only ever go to the light squares on the chessboard. It can go as far as it wants, but only on half of the chessboard. Whereas the rook can visit every square it desires. But I am not giving up. I am saying, 
I have built a fortress. I will defend this like I am Magnus Carlsen. Is this a fortress? Can I get a draw from this position? Maybe that is possible because we have the same amount of pawns and how exactly is Istvan going to use the advantage of the rook in this position? I'm not being aggressive. I am not trying to force my will on this position. I'm just keeping in contact with the base of my operation, the most backwards pawn, keeping communication live between the bishop and the pawn at all times. How could you ever break down this structure? Easton is asking himself the same question. And maybe it's fair. The game started on equal terms with equality and it can end on equal terms with equality in a draw. But here is the thing. Istvan gives back the rook. And you can see I'm so flustered I'm knocking over the pieces. And he wins a pawn. And more importantly, I am, black is, what we call in Zugzwang, in chess. Meaning that there's just no move that I can make that will not make my situation worse. And in chess, you have to move. And to end on a light note, I think before we get to the money I'll just share a little bit of friendly banter as we see the technique from Istvan in getting the full point home. Chess. Okay, we we'll let you out there. I will let you out here. <laughs> you catch a pound. Amazing. So now how would we make it sh shorter? Ah, like the, the technique, the precision. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the lesson. I want to uh, pay you for no. the rights to uh, to have the video. To pay me for the rights, I don't understand. Ah, do you to uh, okay? So to publish uh, that yes, video, so I must to sign off. Do you know what you told me? No. I said it's good to learn how to give, and I want to pay you. No, it's not necessary. I know it's not necessary. Many many times, I have uh, played with you and not given you anything, but this time I want to give you something. So Thank you. It's too much for me. It's too much? Give to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. It's very it's, uh... No, give it to him also. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give a little bit to the camera later. Also. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> big, big shout out to my sponsor on this video, Brilliant. I want to make brilliant moves on and off the chessboard, so I keep my mind sharp on Brilliant.org. They take complicated concepts and make them intuitive and easy to learn. You can learn about basically anything there, 
And if you use my link, which is in the description, you can get a 30 day free trial. And if you are among the first 200, you can also get a 20% discount on the annual Brilliant subscription. Brilliant.org slash ASMR chess. Go get it.